Hello everyone, it's me ASMR if welcoming you to my new design tutorials and today I'll show you how to make the color swatch in your illustrator and you can make it this one any kind of illustrator version that means uh, creative cloud or cc or csc cs5 whatever it is but why we do need this type of color swatch just because of if you need to make the logo like that if you need to give the shadow and color variations like that you need a color swatch so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first i'm going to the file and new options and taking an artboard which is the uh, 2000 by 2000 or any kind of square shapes which will make you out to design so here i'm giving the color swatch and hit the create button so at first i'll show you how to make this type of logo so i just made this type of logo earlier like uh, since uh, uh, one year back that is the fox logo that was actually that was the fox logo and today i'll show you how to make it out and how to make the color swatch own in your illustrator and how it helps you out to make the logo more creative so here at first go to the polygon tool here if you double click over here right press in your mouse polygon tool click once and make this one 350 350 pixels and write down six it will give you the hexagon and hit ok after that turn off the stroke and give the fill color like ash for your convenient and shift and hold it and rotate this one here make sure that align to artboard is on and just click once now for that take uh, the like uh, line tool before that you have to check out here uh, all the things is off and except this one snap to point is on this one and rest of the thing is off and just slash from the keyboard and draw a line like that press ctrl or command y to get the outline mode and make it in a like properly just place in a corner like that and after that select these two things go to the pathfinder tool if you want to get this pathfinder over here go to the window and pathfinder so after that just divide those things right press and group that things and select this upper portion right press transform and reflect and after reflect select this one the horizontal and hit ok and now select these two things again and select this the lower portion for the key point or key like uh, the subject to align and just select once select these two things again and minus over there so this thing is saying that so which one you want to minus that portion will have to in upper side so i'm pressing the ok and select that things and making it in upper portion select these two things and make it minus now and now we are getting minus portion like that and after that i'll divide two things and uh, separate all the things like that pressing the slash and write down a draw a line like that select these two things make the alignment in the middle and then pathfinder just divide these things right press and ungroup and now press p and select from here and press enter to like uh, end the path select these two things and just ungroup that things and again p and just here return for the like deselect select these two things divide that things right press and ungroup and then again p from the keyboard select these things shift and uh, like uh, hold it and draw like that okay and return you can just uh, get the outline mode like that you will get the line properly so here press the shift button for the 45 degree angle and proper like that and return to like this now press v from the keyboard select these two things divide those things right press and ungroup and divide right press and ungroup and press y we are getting here one two three four five six so six portion but we want to make it 
six type of color so how to make the swatch now we need the color swatch so how to make it out here take a rectangle and draw a square shape like that i want to make it like blue color so take the blue color from here this type of blue color and then press the option or alter button and draw another one press the shift and hold it you will get the straight over here now i want to make it more darker so go to the panel cmyk if you want to get the like panel or workplace like that so go to the painting and here change the workplace like that and now i'm making this one into like dark type shape press v from the keyboard for the selection tool or move tool select these two things and go to the blend tool select once select over here and over here you are getting lots of color swatch over here but i need 10 or 20 color swatch double click over here and now here go to the specified steps and turn on the preview mode and write down here 30 or 20 that's good or you can just make it like six or eight or nine ten that's good and v you're getting the color swatch over here if you need to change it out just select once and now change i'm changing it like blue like that you are getting the changing all the colors like that now i'll give the color over here so i'm picking up the color selecting here i from the keyboard and select over here select these things and it's making the shadow or 3d uh, like uh, fill in my design and here as well and now i'm making these things like that so you are getting nice logo with the swatch and how to make the swatch i just given the demo over here hope that you will be benefited this tutorial i hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment in my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications until the next video, I am ASMRF signing out today. Bye-bye.